The first day attack the Maute, the ISIS. First day. Yes, I'm so afraid, scared. Ah, nandoon sa kwan sa sa marina. May bahay na tinatagoan nila noong pinasukan ng mga kwan. We don't know the reason. Only the higher the pol mga political leaders. Maybe they know. Uh, yes. Go to that one, the office. La sede administrativa de la provincia de Maragüí se ha convertido en el cuartel general de las fuerzas especiales del ejército de Filipinas, inmersas en la liberación de la ciudad, que en mayo cayó en manos de dos grupos fieles al Estado Islámico, Mauté y Abu Sayyaf. Las instalaciones también hospedan a cerca de 500 personas que huyeron de los enfrentamientos en Maragüí. Todos los días, impotentes estos civiles son testigos de los bombardeos aéreos de las fuerzas armadas contra su ciudad de la que ahora quedan casi solo escombros. It was Tuesday, I mean, uh, we, that, it was a normal day for us because oh, we, our, my office meets and I have, have had a lunch outside and then suddenly after arriving in our office doing our ordinary routine we just suddenly hear many Fire, you, fire, you, the gunshots, yes, and then suddenly there were, there were people saying, oh, we have to leave our home because the terrorists are here and they are, they, they are uh, spreading terror in our, in our city. A pesar de que parecen destinados a tener que entregarse a corto plazo, los yihadistas, que ahora son solo unos 500, fuertemente armados contra 7.000 soldados, no tienen ninguna intención de rendirse. Desde el comienzo del asedio, el número de muertos ya ha superado a los 550 civiles, un centenar de funcionarios del gobierno y más de 400 yihadistas. Los desplazados, más de 400.000, se encuentran dispersos en los varios centros de acogida de todo Mindanao. Tapos pinapatatri, nag, pinapatarinig nila. Parang hindi pa tapos yata ito eh. Parang ano pa, matagal pa ito kasi hindi, 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 mag, hindi magsurrender yung ano eh. Nagumpisa noong May 23, noong kura na ramdaman narinig yung putukan. Kasi hindi natin na sila nakita. Sabi ng mga tao, ISIS, o nakaputukan doon sa city. Hindi natin alam kung sino yun. Yun lang ang nalaman namin. Patapos yung mga tao, Takbuan sila, kahit malayo ka doon, tatakbo lahat ng mga tao. This is the heart of the Muslim Philippine people, eh, eh, Maravis City. Masakit man sa amin yan ang pangyayari. Eh, dahil ito ang inalaga namin para lumawang, bigla lang dumating yung multi-group, uh, nakaputukan na. just to get as many people out as we can. Every time because we, we, we enter houses, there's also a fear that we might be entering an area where there is a, a Maute group there who, who just shoot at us. We, actually, we don't know if the calls we're getting are really people who are asking for help or people from the other side also who want, want to to create more uh, my, my other members were able to talk with them uh, inside when when this started most of our members were inside the city so they had they all of them had to cross going out so while they were there they were also getting particularly they were getting they're more concentrated on non-muslim every time uh, civilians would walk across the bridge they would ask these civilians uh, to speak to speak the uh, the Muslim language uh, say a, a phrase from the Quran to see if they were uh, Muslims or not in uh, cases uh, they could not uh, they could not speak they, they're set aside 
They, they won't get through. I, I don't know what happens with them. They, they say these are the people who get assassinated and get killed. We, we, we only got a cadaver, a dead person uh, in, a, in, a, in, the river, in a river. Ones who tried to escape from inside the city. But he has bruises in his head. I think he hit his head. Uh, two, two or three weeks back, uh, yeah, that was a uh, no, uh, former judge. That was, I think, one of the one rescue mission we, where we went in that really uh, stung me. When we saw him, he was, his face was down. His face was down on the floor. Uh, he, had nothing, he had nothing to eat for three weeks already. No water, no food. And he could barely move because he had, uh, I think he had injury. Uh, actually, at first sight, I thought he was already dead. He was not moving. So uh, when we moved him, his son was with us and he was talking there. We, we transported him here. Uh, he, he, uh, it touched me because uh, uh, my father passed away before. Uh, and uh, I pictured him like my dad, so that's what that's what uh, hit me. And and the fact that the fact that there, I'm definitely sure there are more scenarios of people like him who are still inside, who could not go out, who don't have phones, who because th there's no electricity inside, so you don't know who who else is inside.